So I guess starting off, just uh, tell us about your perspective on that play early in the game, the uh, the punt. Uh, it was overall good. I ran down there. I seen Jacoby Johnson just sitting there, like really not knowing, <laughs> trying to decide if he, he touched the ball or not. But I was, it was just overall good. I ran down there and just dove with the ball because I felt like he, he touched it, came in contact with it. Were you surprised Jacoby didn't? To grab it. Yeah, I was kind of surprised, but they said when you go out of bounds, I didn't know this, but when you go out of bounds and come back in, you can't be the first guy to touch the ball. So that's why I guess he didn't touch it. But Could you th saw that, that it got touched? Or? Yeah, yeah, I figured he touched it. Yes, sir. That's why I took the chance and dove on it. What's it been about these first couple weeks that you've been able to you know, be in the right spot and make some game-changing plays on special teams? Oh, uh, it's been good, man. I've just been trying to, you know, take advantage of every opportunity I get out there and just, you know, soak it all in, be out there, learning, with, learning from guys like Kip Lewis and Danny Stutzman and just all the older guys, just trying to soak the game up for them and take advantage of every opportunity I get. What's been the biggest difference you've noticed uh, special teams-wise with Doug Deacon here? Uh, the big difference is, like, just how we attack every every rep. Every rep we trying to, you know, make it like, make it like a game rep and just, you know, get everything out of it we can. You know, because special teams is just as important as every play on offense and defense. Obviously, there was the fumble recovery, but you guys had a few other nice plays and punt coverage on Saturday night. What's allowed you guys to be successful in that area? Uh, just overall, you know, us working together and on the game plan and just, you know, not taking the playoff. Like I said, just making it making it seem like it's a, a game rep, which it is, like offense and defense, like I said earlier. You laid a pretty big hit on the punt recovery as well at one point on Saturday. What did you see on that play? And, and what were you feeling when you were lining them up? Uh, like throughout the game, I noticed that like they were kind of going and doubling the guy to my left, the left tackle, which is RJ Spears Genius, and um, they started letting me come come out free. And it was one dude try to like try to try to hold me every time I was going in, like a dude to my inside, to my right. So I just figured like they was gonna let me go off free again. And the guy came, and he was trying to like you know hold me once again, and I just kept running, sling his hand off me, and just I thought the dude was gonna fair catch it, but he didn't. So I just you know ran full speed through him. How much did playing special teams last year keep you engaged? Uh, it did pretty well because, you know, I want to be out there, you know, not losing the feel of the game, not saying I would have, but just being out there under the lights and just with all the people out there getting that in-game experience was well for me. On the defensive side, what's it been like getting to play under Zach Alley for these first two weeks? Uh, it's been good. I can say he made things way more simplified for you, so you can just go out there and get a feel for it and just, you know, move like you, you know, um, more, you like, you move more with anticipation, I can say, when you're playing with him, because he made things more simplified. You kind of look for the things that's coming and all the things we study from an opponent. I it was a tight game, but defense didn't look like it played tight or nervous, but what's allowed you guys to kind of stay playing free even when the game tightened up? Uh, just all those older guys, you know, keeping the standard high for us, like saying, like, we're going to go out there every play and not, not give them a yard out there. Just keeping the standard high for the defense, just knowing we got to go out there and just stay to that, play to that standard every down. To perk your ears up a little more to know Tulane gave Kansas State all they wanted last weekend? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did for sure. They um took advantage of the run game. They, they're a pretty good even offense. They can throw the ball, run the ball. They're a pretty good team. You got a former high school teammate right now. Yeah, Big Eddie. Yeah. What's stood out about the way that he's attacked everything since he got here three months ago? Uh, I can say he all in with what he do. He um been big on the playbook. You know, coming here in June, you kind of – be set back from the guys that come here in January. So he been he trying to take that step, that bigger step, and like knowing the playbook so he can move fast, just like high school out there. You got here in June last year. Did you kind yeah. of have that same experience? Yeah, I kind of did. I kind of wish I got here in January, but you know, but you know, I just kind of took every advantage and every opportunity, like to the most high that I got, and tried to study my plays and all that stuff to get ahead. How much fun is it to start seeing Sammy start making plays too? Oh, uh, it's real fun. That's my guy. Just watching him grow and watching the time like we've took to grow together. Like just seeing that, like going out there and just seeing him, you know, sprout and make plays. And that's what we've been working for this whole time. What do you think? It's only up. What do you think's made that linebacker room so successful this year? Uh, just like I said, like Danny Stutzman, Kip Lewis, all those Kobe McKenzie, all the Jaron Kennett, all those older guys just holding us to a high standard. And just like, like me, like with guys like me and um Sammy, they just been pushing us and just letting us know that like we next up, like we gotta be held to that standard and be ready to play as well. Thanks, Lewis. Hey, appreciate it.